Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Project Tiger. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So Project Tiger is a wildlife conservation movement initiated in India to protect the endangered tiger. Actually, tiger population was seriously at risk of extinction. Hence, the project was initiated in 1973 by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change of the Government of India. In 1973, nine protected areas were initially designated as tiger reserves. These nine protected areas covered 9115 square kilometer. As of March 2024, there are 55 protected areas that have been designated as tiger reserves under the project. Now the area covers 78135.956 square kilometer. Okay. The first tiger census was conducted in 1972 and it used the unreliable pug mark method to count tigers and 1827 tigers were counted at that time. As of 2023, there were 3682 wild tigers in India, which is almost 75% of the world's wild tiger population. So this is huge, right? The habitats covered under Project Tiger are Central India Conservation Unit, Shivalik Terai Conservation Unit, North East Conservation Unit, Sariska Conservation Unit, Sundarban Conservation Unit, Eastern Ghats Conservation Unit and Western Ghats Conservation Unit. Let's talk about the objectives of the project. The project was initiated to protect the Bengal tiger and its habitats. It also tried to establish dedicated tiger reserves for sustaining tiger populations. As per the section 38 of Wildlife Protection Act 1972, the state governments are responsible preparing a tiger conservation plan. It includes proper planning and management of notified areas. It includes maintaining the staff to ensure the protection of the tiger reserve. And it includes maintaining a viable population of tigers and prey animals. So, if they don't get food, obviously they will not survive. Hence, maintaining a viable population of prey animals is also required. Tiger reserves consist of a core area which includes protected areas such as a national park or a wildlife sanctuary. The reserves also consist of a buffer zone which is a mix of forested and non-forested land. Project Tiger is aimed at performing the 
necessary activities to ensure viability of tiger population in the core area and to promote a balance between the existence of people and animals in the buffer zones since villagers stay in the buffer zones uh, it needs proper management to protect them along with animals let's talk about the management of the project functions under the project tiger include protection of tiger habitats daily monitoring facilitating ecological development for local people in the buffer zones and addressing human wildlife conflicts as a part of the project states are provided assistance on curtailing poaching activities wireless communication systems infrared thermal cameras etc have been developed within the tiger reserves to assist in patrol activities let's talk about some challenges of the project project tigers efforts are hampered by poaching activities poaching is for what for skins bones and meat deforestation construction and irregularities in administration of certain reserves the forest rights act enacted by the indian government in 2006 recognizes the rights of forest dwelling communities in the buffer zones some of the wildlife experts have questioned the implications of the same that means implications of the forest rights act on tiger conservation as it will increase human animal conflict and might give opportunities for poaching see people are allowed to stay in the buffer zones but if it happens they are more prone to be attacked by the wildlife and similarly poaching activities may get increased if people stay nearby in this way human animal conflict gets increased let's see some benefits of this project The population of tigers in the country has been increased considerably after the establishment of the project. The project has opened a wide door of tourism and thereby employment opportunities. This initiative has brought the participation of local people and their participation has made the habitat to revive. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.